Hi everyone, these are my 10 essentials that I can't live without. I was actually inspired by the GQ um, videos that they post on YouTube and I used to get a lot of comments and I still do now, even emails as well, for essential items that I always have. I am a spiritual advisor and I do that every single day and have done that for the last four years posting consistently every single day on YouTube but also helping thousands of clients. So these are my essentials and I'm going to share them with you and why I feel like they are my essentials. Now this is like my top 10 but I am sure that there are other items that obviously are as important as well. So yeah I'm going to go through that and we will discuss everything. All right so um yeah, let's begin. Actually, before I start, I just wanted to mention, obviously, that in the description box below, you'll find all the information on the services that I do and that I help with, tarot readings, um, you know, all the rituals to manifest different areas of your life, as well as the intention items, which thousands of people have seen results with. So the review section is at the bottom of my website or on my Etsy store. And uh, shopmoonlightguidance.com is where you can purchase intention items as well. All right, so my first number one essential is this thing right here. This is a copper bottle. You don't really need one, but I went to India and I saw this and my mum also has one as well. And water just tastes different. It tastes different. Apparently it has lots of health benefits. I have been using this since 2019. And I have to say, I've just not gone back and it has lasted beautifully. It is great. <laughs> the only thing is it's really hard to unscrew and screw. So a lot of the times I just leave it open. Luckily, I haven't knocked it over, but I wouldn't recommend that. But still, I just really like this. I feel like water just tastes so much better, but I also really do feel that it has great health benefits. And ever since I've been drinking water like this, I actually end up drinking more of it just because the taste of it is really, really nice. Um, you do have to clean it properly, obviously, because it is a copper bottle, but I just, I love this. I really, really do. And I just haven't gone back on it. Um, I don't take this everywhere. This is mainly just, you know, during the day and the night. Um, but, you know, in between tarot readings and things like that, I'm always sipping from this particular bottle and I really, really like it. So that is number one. Another essential that I like a lot um, and that I have is <laughs> fluffy things. Um, this is actually like um, a fluffy sweater. I cannot live without fluffy things like this. I get cold very, very easily. Um, I also live in a place where it is quite cold and these are just so great because I just throw them on when I'm in the house and many of you may also see that when I do readings as well on my YouTube channel that I always wear something cozy and fluffy and like a sweater or a jacket. Um, and if I'm not wearing any of those things, it means that the heating is on and that it's really hot in the room. <laughs> but I just, I love fluffy things. I am very sensitive to certain fabrics and I cannot wear certain fabrics because they just make me feel more cold. And I could literally wear something that is warm, but if it's too tight, it can make me feel cold. I know that sounds really strange and really bizarre, but there are certain fabrics like wool, which just make me not want to ever wear anything like that again. Um, so I just really love like this sort of, I don't know, fleecy kind of material. It's so soft. It is, it's amazing. It is an essential because it just helps me focus when I'm wearing something that, you know, just itches or it doesn't feel nice and the texture is all like bobbly or strange. I can't focus. I literally cannot focus. Things like this just make me feel really calm. Anyways, so there is that. <laughs> Another essential is this. Now this is SPF. I have so many of these just in different brands and, you know, things like that. But SPF um, to protect from the sun, really, really important. I really feel that it's something I should have done a lot sooner in life. But um, nevertheless, here we are. So uh, yeah, SPF, this is... Um, um, this is actually a Japanese sunscreen by Canmake. It's called the Mermaid Skin Gel UV, uh, SPF 50 for face and body. Um, but yeah, I've used this quite a lot, as you can see um, from the side, but um, I do have another one of these. I really, really like this sunscreen a lot. Um, it's really great for sensitive skin, but I'm not sponsored by them to say any of this, but <laughs> I just really, I've tried so many sunscreens. Um, and the other one I like is by Isntree. It's called the Hyaluronic Watery Sun Gel. I wear this every single day, whether it's cloudy or not, and that is to protect my sun 
protect my sun, protect my face from the sun just because of UV and the damage it can do to the skin and also because I have a lot of moles and things like that obviously you know there's a whole like skin thing so yeah um SPF and also I'm on a medication right now which I actually put onto my face so I have to wear an SPF to protect my skin otherwise it would just like burn off or it will burn and yeah we just we don't want that <laughs> um so yeah SPF absolute must have raining, sunshine, snow, whatever weather, SPF goes on the face. And what's really nice is that this feels like a moisturizer. It doesn't even feel like a sticky sunscreen. It's, it's really great. Um, another essential is this. I love tea. I like tea a lot. I have all kinds of teas and it's just my favorite thing on the entire planet. So um, this is a white silver tip loose leaf tea. Uh, so I like all kinds of teas, even the tea bags that you get from, you know, supermarket. <laughs> I honestly will drink any kind of tea um, that is just really good for you. <laughs> so I love tea and um, my favorite one is this one and it's the silver tip and it's just, it just tastes really nice and what more can I say? I, I love tea. I really, really do. I just feel that it's very calming and it's great as well because I, when I drink tea, I'm actually drinking more water as well than I actually usually do. So it's another way of getting that in. Another essential is a sleep mask. I can't live without sleep masks. I have to have a sleep mask. I cannot sleep unless it is completely dark and it's just it's just impossible otherwise so uh this is amazing this is perfect and also the blinds in the home are not like the strongest like they don't black everything out so this is this is really great i get great sleep when i wear this um it's got like velcro on the back which i don't really like i like the ones that are actually um elasticated so that you just you know put them on and it's fine whereas with this because i have a small head i basically have to take the um velcro all the way until the end that it actually fits but then it's just on by a tiny bit of velcro but it's all right and then also when you machine wash these um the velcro starts to go so anyways um this is not actually my favorite favorite one but i'm trying to uh use it since i have it because i don't want to obviously make it go to waste but i love sleep masks they are my favorite they are literally my favorite they allow me to sleep <laughs> um another huge essential this is probably like my number one essential is tarot cards I do this every single day so obviously for me these are really really significantly important it's part of my life my job um and I I love them I have <laughs> I probably have like 300 decks all together um this is the one that I probably have used the most the most um and it is the radiant wise spirit tarot deck I just I love it so much and it is just so good quality considering I've used it the most out of all my other decks my other decks look more worn out so the quality of this one is brilliant um and just I, I I love I love it's an essential and it has to be another essential here is a moisturizer this is face and body this is the Cetaphil moisturizing cream I've tried so many it's the only one I really like um I just feel like it's very simple it just doesn't irritate my skin so I really like this and yeah it just actually moisturizes which woohoo I mean that's that's kind of what I need it for so I really really like this this seems to be the new formula I actually prefer the old formula I wish they really didn't change things around but this one still is not bad luckily otherwise I have to go on this hunt to find a new one and it's it's you know it's really difficult to do so and then you end up spending money on lots of moisturizers trying to see what works and what doesn't um, but yeah, this this is still great and um, I'm really glad that it is. Um, so yeah, I really like it. I don't know if you can see, but I have used quite a lot. Actually, this is like the third or fourth tub that I'm on. So yeah, it's really, really great um, as a simple moisturizer. No fragrance, no essential oils, no denatured alcohol or drying alcohols. There's no there's no stuff that could really irritate the skin. Um, so I really like, um, that's how my skincare products have to be. Because <laughs> my skin is just like, wah, 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 you know. Um, another essential here are prayer beads. So in the morning when I wake up, I will meditate and I will also do the jap. Okay, so um, the japa is very important and I use prayer beads. I have lots of different types of prayer beads. This is the first one that I actually ever got and they've got really big beads. So I really do like it a lot although it ends up being a bit heavy but I really really do like it and um yeah it's an essential because I do it every single day and I also meditate every single day but 
and that, and that is technically an essential but there is no way for me to like show you because I just literally meditate with myself and my breath and my body <laughs> whereas this um I do the japa and I have an item to show you so absolute essential um we also have prayer beads on the website as well if anyone wanted to purchase any of them they're actually handmade and I do use that one as well which is the Rudraksha prayer beads um and they're really really special because those beads actually came from a holy temple in India and um I use this one as well uh, so yeah I thought I would show you and my final essential is this this has probably changed my life for a very good in like just in a really good way so before my skin was just very finicky um, it wasn't like terrible terrible but it just used to not behave very well so ever since I started using this my skin just behaves and it's just so much more predictable. I can wake up in the morning and not have to, you know, worry like if it's too dry or if it's like very um, congested. It just behaves. And I just love that because my skincare routine is so basic now that I don't use 20, 30 products. I literally have a cleanser, a moisturizer, a sunscreen and my treatment. And that is it. That is literally it. Um, so it's very low maintenance, but my skin has looked the best it have, uh, ever has. And that's it, you know, quality over quantity. And finally, I found the things that work for me. Um, so this is not sponsored or anything like that, but there is a little link um, that I will leave in the in the description box if anyone is interested. This is by Dermatica. It is their uh, treatment, which is tretinoin 0.015% and niacinamide 4%. And um, I was using Adapalene before and it just didn't really work. But as soon as I got onto tretinoin, it just, my skin has never looked the same. As in, it, it's, it's looked better, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. It's looked so much better. This is absolutely incredible. I moisturized my face, I put this on, moisturize again, only at night and it has been revolutionary like this is that this is amazing you know so um yeah if anyone is interested then i will leave a link down below but this is probably single-handedly the one thing that has improved my skin the most uh for sure and that's why i also have to wear spf otherwise my uh, skin would probably burn off but these are my 10 essentials and yeah you know let me know uh, what are your essentials in the comment section below? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all very soon. Bye!